everybody, it's the Autonomous here, back for another video, and today I have another In My Opinion video for all you guys. And this In My Opinion video's topic will be on a little thing that's been circling around the net and hasn't really stopped for the past few months. It's called the Mandela Effect. So this thing called the Mandela Effect is basically where you remember things that didn't actually take place or they are not as they are right now. So many people, and many people have this effect. Many people remember things differently. Movie lines, spelling of names of companies, people, and even events that never occurred or happened and they didn't remember them happening. So I'm going to go across some very popular Mandela effects right now that have been encircling the net and even one that has been encircling the net for a year or two now. So let's get started. I'm not going to say every single one. I'm just going to say a couple that I experience and that many other people experience and are popular and I'm going to give my opinion on each of those. So this is the biggest one besides Nelson Mandela the person that the Mandela Effect is based around, and the reason it's based around him is because he supposedly, people, a lot of people remember him dying in prison, but he did not die in prison. He died in 2013, as many people know. Back on to the topic that we're talking about. The Bernstein Bears. Or was it? So, we all remember the Bernstein Bears. The story about the bears that lived in a treehouse, and, well, I don't really know much of the story myself. I mean, I own a couple of books, but that's really all I know. I watched the TV show a couple of times, but I did, never really knew the real story of the show or the books. So, but I always saw on the TV show and all the books, I always read the name as Berenstein, with S-T-E-I-N, okay, at the end. No, it's not that. It's not what I remember. It is Berenstain. Yes, the Berenstain Bears. It's spelled S-T-A-I-N. I do not remember that at all. I'm sorry if any of you always recall that. I do not remember it. But that is a, that is a minor one, I have to say. That's a minor one. There are a lot more that I feel more passionate about. So let's keep going. So now that we got the big Mandela effect across, we're going to move on to a big thing that has been changed with this effect. The geography of the world. Now, I don't agree with most of the stuff. Like, a lot of people are saying that South America was way far farther west than it already is. It's like hella east. But I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. Many people say that. But I do agree with one thing. Australia is way, way too close to Indonesia. It is just unbearably close. And I did not... And I did not remember it being that close. So, that is one thing that bothers me. And another thing pertaining to the map that bothers me is... The North Pole. The North Pole is basically where Santa makes all his presents, right? Well, that doesn't exist. There is no North Pole. There's only a South Pole, Antarctica. There's an, Atlant an Arctic Ocean. Almost said Atlantic for a second. An Arctic Ocean up there. There's no landmass. There's no ice. There's no snow. There's just an Arctic Ocean. There's no North Pole where Santa creates all his presents. So... That's one thing, because that's, that's like huge. Because so many people think of the North Pole, and they think Santa. But there is no North Pole. So basically, Santa is creating his presence either from a boat or underwater, according to the story. So, enough with world geography. I'm going to move on. A big thing with Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. A very huge movie for its time. A very influential movie. So, what did the evil queen say to her mirror? 
Did she say, mirror, mirror on the wall? Or did she say another little line called magic mirror on the wall? I do not agree that she said magic mirror on the wall. I thought that she said mirror, mirror on the wall. No, she always said magic mirror. <laughs> ah, gosh darn. Okay. Now let's get on to some changing of names. Okay, so you all know the old Superman movies where the actor, I'm not going to say his name yet, played Superman in the original. What was his name? Was it Christopher Reed or was it Christopher Reeves? It's the first one. I do not remember the first one. And I don't, I don't, I haven't even barely, I've only seen one of the movies in, the, in that entire series. So, I, I wasn't even that familiar with it. But I still remember Christopher Reeves. Alright, next thing. Curious George, did he have a tail or not? I don't really, I don't really recall him having a tail or not. I don't really remember that. So, I don't know, but many people recall him having a tail. But he doesn't anymore. I can't really voice my opinion on that because I don't really have a clear memory on that one. Okay, Forrest Gump, a huge, huge movie. What did he say while he was sitting on the bench to that one person? He said, life was like a box of chocolates. That's not what I remember. I remember life is like a box of chocolates. Because life isn't like a box of chocolates anymore. Is that, the, is, that, is that what he's trying to say? That that's not the concept of life anymore, that it's changed? Because life is like a box of chocolates would make more sense in how he's talking in the movie. It would make more sense in how... Because life is like a box of chocolates would make more sense in how he's talking in the movie. So, I don't know. Guys, this is a crazy effect. If you want me to do another video with way more effects on it, I will make another one. But let me try to tell you what I think is going on and why so many things have changed and why so many people have misremembered them. I believe that there I believe in the infinite reality idea. I believe that in some alternate dimension, if you want to call it alternate dimensions, Alternate reality is what I call it. In some alternate reality, that something else is going on. Like in some alternate reality, Donald Trump isn't even running for president. I'm not going to get into politics. I refuse to do that video. I'm not going to do that video. Anyway, there, there could be a reality where blue isn't a color. I mean, there's inf I believe in infinite realities. I don't, I don't know about you guys. That's just my preference. So basically, what I think is going on here... So basically, what I think is going on here is that two different realities merged, two very similar realities have merged, and that's why people remember things as they are different from as they are now. That may seem a bit far-fetched. I don't know if that's what's going on. That's just the only fathomable idea I have of what's going on. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got informed. And I hope your mind was blown a little bit. Because my mind was sure blown. And my father's mind was also blown. If you want to check out his channel. I'll have a link in the description. He covers everything Mandela Effect. So if you want to learn more. Just go to his channel. And he will tell you all the fancy fancy effects that are known to mankind. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video. I'm going to start uploading a lot more frequently. I'm not going months without uploading. No way. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.